Hey Jen, what app do you use for Twitter? Hey Jen, what do you use to edit your photos? Hey Jen, why do you spend 95 hours of your day on Puzzle and Dragon? There are 95 hours in the day. Answering all these questions and more in my What's in my iPhone video. Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you obviously what is on my iPhone. I've seen a lot of these videos and I personally think they're really fun if you're a little bit nosy like me and you want to see what apps everybody uses. Plus I've gotten a ton of questions about what are my favorite Favorite photo apps to use to edit my photos for Instagram and just generally what I like using and playing with on my phone and a few apps that have really kind of improved the quality of my life. So I'm gonna start off on the first page of my iPhone. This is the one that I use the most. So these are like my top priority which you guys are probably gonna laugh at me because honestly most of them are games. I don't even want to call myself a gamer but I love playing iPhone games. So I'm going to start off with my number one top favorite obsession game right now and that my friends is Puzzle and Dragon. I've played this game for about a year. I found out about it from my cousin in Korea and he was just like obsessed with it and we ended up playing that for a good two hours in a cat cafe and who can replace memories of playing Puzzle and Dragon in a Korean cat cafe? anybody can. So that is my number one favorite app. The one next to it is called Pad Guide and again nerd alert it is just a companion app for Puzzle and Dragon so I know when my dungeons are running you guys. If you guys want to check out my friend code I will put it out there but just warning you guys unless you have a total level 99 maxed out Ronya or Green Odin I don't know it's gonna be situational if I have enough room in my friends list. I'm not a huge in-app purchaser I only do it sometimes when there's a really great god fest, but again, that is a whole topic for another video. So let's move on to app number two. The next one I'm gonna talk about is one that I've mentioned in one of my non-beauty favorites videos in the past, and that is Simpsons Tapped Out. I'm not quite as obsessed with it as Puzzle and Dragon, but it is definitely a game that I've played for over a year now, and it's really fun to just kind of kill time and check in every day. The next app on my phone is the Kindle app. I'm a huge reader. I love to read books on my phone, especially at night, because I read right before I I go to bed. So this is already lit up. I don't need to carry a big book around. It's just really handy and easy. And then in the front of the next row, I have my ODB, which is not some kind of gangster acronym. It's my Our Daily Bread app. It basically just has a daily devotional and it also has daily Bible reading. So this is actually what I've been using to read through the Bible every single day. There's a lot of great commentary on it as well. So if I'm reading something and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I wanna read more about it. It's actually already built into the app, which is super great. The next one I have is my Alien Blue app, which I don't know if you guys are Redditors, but if you are, this is a great, great app to have. I honestly check into just a few forums the most frequently. I love the Puzzle and Dragon subreddit. I really love the Game of Thrones subreddit, especially when people create their own theories about what's going to happen in the future. I've read all of the books in Game of Thrones and watched all of the shows and I love it. So this just fuels some more of my obsession. Plus I love the Explain It Like I'm Five subreddit because I've just learned so much about things. Like I feel like I'm a lot smarter. The next app I wanted to talk about is my Angry Birds app. They have a new game called Epic and it's a role playing game. I'm not usually into RPGs, but this is super, super fun. I really, really enjoy it. And again, it's just something that I can use to kill time and I just check in about once every day and play at least the daily game. And I love to play Plants vs. Zombies because I really like those pinata levels and uh, you get free costumes sometimes for your little plant characters. I really like customizing and dressing up anything possible in any game ever, including plants. The next page is full of a lot of more practical apps. As you can see, I have my calendar, I have just notes and reminders, and then right up here is my period diary, which I think is a lifesaver. It, it helps me know when my next cycle is coming. Sorry for any of you guys watching if you're uncomfortable with this, but it's really nice not to have to write it down anywhere physical. <laughs> and then I have, of course, my mail app and YouTube. And then I have Kakao Talk. It's kind of like a text-free messaging system. So I keep in touch with a lot of my Korean friends and family through that app. And then I have Google Maps. I highly recommend this over Apple Maps. I'm sorry, Apple. Google Maps just gets me there 
with a little bit less confusion. And then I have a few different folders. They're grouped apps by category, just my basic utilities that has, you know, an alarm clock and the app store and weather and calculator and stuff like that. My next folder is for games. I have an entire secondary folder full of games that I don't necessarily play as frequently or sometimes they're group games or just ones where I don't actually have Wi-Fi service and they still work. I love me some good games. And then I have a whole chat folder, which Kakao, since I get messages on that a little more frequently, I keep out of there so I can see when the alerts come up. But I do also have Skype and Google Voice, FaceTime, Trillion, Line. My next folder is my photography folder. So this is where I keep all of my apps that I use for Instagram or just generally editing photos. A couple of my favorite ones are, of course, Visco Cam. That's a really popular one to do photo editing. I love Square Ready. It kind of helps adjust your photo within borders. So you can kind of add your own colored background and make your photos not just a square. My favorite collage app is usually Frametastic. I think that has a lot of really great options that are free. And then I also like adding bokeh and little light elements to a lot of photos using PicFX and Darkroom. Those are the ones I use most frequently. And a new one that I got kind of recently that I've really been enjoying is called Photo Finish. And you can actually go in and it has a very sophisticated blurring mechanism where you can remove zits and that is wonderful for me because sometimes you have that perfect picture and you just have a red zit in the middle of your cheek or something and it's just ruining everything but this does a really great job of having everything look natural and just taking out spot blemishes next on my phone is my favorite app other than puzzle and dragons and that is the from head to toe app the From Head to Toe official app has been out since a little bit earlier this year and it's just incredible. You guys have built an amazing, amazing community on there that just spreads tons of inspiration. Plus, I'm really, really also inspired by how positive the community is. Everybody is just really sweet and supportive on there and I've seen some incredible posts. And I have to say, we just went through some huge, huge updates. We improved the picture quality so everything looks even that much more amazing on on the actual app when you upload your own photos. And also there's a new section that's called hair of the day. So all of you hair enthusiasts can see some really amazing, incredible designs that other people have done. And then the part that I'm the most excited about is a specialty VIP section called Ask Jen, where you can actually submit questions about anything. You can ask me about like relationships or life or makeup, hair, whatever it is. And I'm actually going to put up a video response every single week. You can vote on the questions that you want to have answered and that'll kind of bring it to the top of the list so that I can do my response. So I am so, so, so excited about that section, you guys. So be sure you download the app. It is absolutely free in the Google Play Store and the iPhone App Store. I will leave the direct download links to both of those stores in the info bar down below and I really can't wait to see you guys on there. Right in the middle of the bottom row, I have have some of my most used apps. That is the camera app, which duh, of course, I'm on Instagram like all the time and Instagram itself. And then right after that is one of my newest apps that I just got called Sleep Time. And this thing is pretty cool. It can manage your whole sleep cycle and do a really gentle alarm to wake you up in the morning. And it kind of tracks how you are in your sleep. Like if you're in your deep sleep or a light sleep, how you slept through the night and it waits until you're at a light sleep point to wake you up. So it's like, you're not going to be in your deep sleep time when you're feeling absolutely groggy, it won't wake you up then. So it's been working out super well for the last few days. I'm gonna keep testing it out, but let me know you guys if you've tried it out and if it's worked for you because I really enjoy sleeping and I really hate getting out of bed. So it's kind of helped me a lot. The final page of my phone starts off with Audible. I really like listening to Audible when I'm doing something with my hands, but I don't really want to be bored. It just works out really well, especially it's kind of nice if you're taking a bath and you just listen to an audiobook or if you're laying down in bed and you have a mask on your face. The next one I like is Yelp. I use this app all the time, especially when I'm on the road looking for a new restaurant to try or the best place to find whatever it is, which is probably something along the lines of 
shaved ice or frozen yogurt. <laughs> I wanted to talk about one last app on this final page. It's called Genius Scan. My friend Jacob told me about this. I don't know if you guys know Jacob and Josh. They're from The Foo. If you don't know them, I'll link a link down below. Jacob, thank you for sharing with me this app. Basically, you just take a picture of a document you want scanned with your phone. It automatically will help you line up all of the corners so it looks normal and in proportion. And it automatically makes it like really black and really white. It gets all of your signatures. You can automatically turn it into a PDF. You can send it to your computer. It's just pretty brilliant. You know when people say there's an app for that? This. This is it. You want something scanned? This is your app for that. I forgot to mention my little bottom bar down here. It's not that interesting. It's basically just my phone, my messages, the Twitter app, and Google Chrome. Those things I use every single day on a regular basis. Pretty basic stuff. Oh, and I wanted to mention my background is by my favorite illustrator, Audrey Kawasaki. This has been my background for a long time. And so my husband also surprised me with this phone case, which is the same image. It's one of my favorite pieces from her. I have this little Swarovski sticker on the back that I got in an event. So she kind of looks like Britney Spears from Toxic Music Video, right? <laughs> anyway, that is my iPhone and what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found out about a couple new apps that are really cool and interesting. I'm really curious, what is your favorite app? What are you on like all the time? What are you totally obsessed with? Let me know that down in the comments and I would super duper love it if you also would give a thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful or enjoyable. This is Jen and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you June favorites. We are finally up to the summertime. And Martina, you guys might recognize her from the channel Eat Your Kimchi, except usually she has blue eyes and blonde and pink hair. Yeah. So she looks quite different right now.